For BoatDealers.ca, this is Rick Lazell, and today's test is the all-new 2018 StarCraft MDX 231 outboard powered by the Evinrude 200 G2. When I think about deck boats, the first thing that comes to mind is versatility, flexibility would be second. The ability to have a dozen of your friends on the water with you boating comfortably with lots of room in the boat to move around and enjoy your time on the water. Storage always a big deal with boats and this MDX 231 outboard model has an incredible amount of storage. We've got lots of storage on both sides of the forward up in the bow section here. We've got an awesome 36 quart cooler up here. Um, we've got in floor storage, we've got storage underneath all the seats in the, in the interior of the boat and again lots of cockpit space to move around comfortably as you're entertaining and enjoying your time on the water. Our test boat today is actually the 231 OBE, which the folks at StarCraft tell us stands for entertainer. I sit here and I look at this great setup with a sink and fresh water, and then I realize I've also scored the bonus. I've got a couple of backrests here for when I want to be sitting and enjoying the afternoon on the water. The helm station of the MDX 231 is really comfortable. I'm a big fan of a flip-up bolster seat, and that's standard equipped with this, this setup. The gauge package itself, the Evinrude engine comes with a great package of gauges with analog and digital features. We've got the optional Humminbird Helix 5 on here, an easily accessible array of our circuit breakers, a kicker stereo system with the USB and audio input ports, very nicely accessible and I absolutely am a huge fan of the sexy look and feel of a leather wrapped chrome steering wheel with tilt steering, nicely set up. Our test boat today features StarCraft's RGB lighting system, giving you the ability to create color variations inside the boat. We've got a whole host of different uh, lighting systems in here on the, for the interior of the boat, your courtesy lights, the exterior, and even an underwater lighting package. As I make my way to the bow of the boat, I love that the folks at StarCraft said, hey, let's make sure that this is nice and easily accessible for any of our guests to get up here, whether you've got to get up and retrieve the anchor line, grab the four-step reboarding ladder, and I stand here and I think, hmm, I'll bet we could fit a couple of fishing seats here real easily. Watch for the folks at StarCraft to create a fish package out of the MDX 231. One of the greatest moments of boating is the sound of the kids laughing behind the boat and the people at StarCraft took the time to engineer this beautiful polished steel ski toe so that we can easily and quickly get the kids out on the water and when we're done, put it away. Nice and easy to use. As parents, we all want the safety and security for our kids, so StarCraft took the time to engineer this gate for getting out on the transom, quick and easy to use, step up and walk through, and then we find ourselves sitting out here with a great big area, easily accommodate three, four friends, nice and deep, lots of leg room, and we can even open up this cushion and set up another lounging area on the transom of the boat. One of the things that creates this open space feeling back here is Evan Rood's engineering by the fact that they take all of the steering systems, wiring harnesses, and everything runs through this one nice clean conduit in the engine well. That, the benefit for the customer is just that big feeling of wide open space when we're not cluttered with a whole bunch of engine rigging. incredible how stable this boat rides regardless of speed or turning. When I think about how I feel about this boat, I think I'd rather drive an SUV than a minivan. And I gotta say, I would rather drive this MDX 231 outboard deck boat. This is just an all-round, fun, inspiring, safe, 
comfortable boat to drive, powered by the Evinor G2. What a great package overall. For BoatDealers.ca, this is Rick Lazell.